This is why the internet producers will always be ahead of industry producers, because industry producers sometimes got managers who handle all that shit. You may go broke every fucking day, bro. Every day you gotta get up and make sure you earn something. Because if you don't, you ain't you ain't eating, you know what I mean? You are essentially your artist, your manager, your label, everything when you're on the internet. As a producer doing everything yourself. These industry producers got everything handed to them, bro. And that's why like we get in this shit and it's like layup drills. You mean to tell me my biggest thing is I gotta be the studio at 8 p.m. Just play beats? And the artist is already gonna be there? Suck my dick. This shit's easy. Like Yeah, my, my dad was a drummer in uh, a bunch of local bands and shit growing up. And uh, my family, like, I didn't really have, like, either side of my family, they didn't really fuck with me. So I basically would just go to band practice with my dad. And that's where, like, I got in touch with music at. And for some reason, I'm not even good at drums, bro. I'm, I'm not good at drums at all. But uh, I just always connected with, like, the bass and the guitar. So when I was little, like, they just got me a little-ass guitar, like, from, like, Walmart or some shit. And I was, like, from the age of three... Uh, I just like kind of taught myself how to play guitar and then like I've always had an ear for shit and I'm just really good at like um, just playing things by ear so just figuring out m music that way when I got older I was in like a bunch of shit like I dropped out in the seventh grade I was around like a bunch of weird people and shit and it just made me feel like music was more so something that my parents and my like my mom wanted me to do and like, you know, like you don't want to, you're fucking rebellious. Like I was like my bad baby shit. You know what I mean? I was like 15. I was tattered by the age of 12. You know what I mean? So I was like, like on some wild shit. I was like, fuck this shit. I don't want to make music. You know what I mean? So I just literally dropped out of school. I just did my shit. And then 18, I just found it again and fell back in love with it. I never made a dollar period till I sold a beat. So it's like whenever I first sold the beat from graphic design, like, cause I was on the forums doing that shit. And people are like, I made my first beat, and they're like, man, this is trash. Never make another beat again. I'm like, fuck, you right. But it came through, you know what I mean? And like, I just kept, I kept at it. And then uh, I just sold my first beat to that same like graphic website and for like $150. I remember going to my mom and she was like, I made a dollar from this shit. Like, this is crazy. It's my first dollar. And she's like, damn, dope. So I went and I pawned all my guitars that they bought me over the years and shit. Cause you know, like birthdays or whatever, like I get me a, like a $300 guitar or something like that. I pawned like four, uh, no, I sold like four guitars on Craigslist and I took that 150 I got and I turned it into, I went and bought like some KRKs and that's when I really started making beats. I've only been in the industry for one year. I just got my first placement like last August. So it's like crazy, all this shit happened from August to now, I got a label deal, all this shit, but that's just because I was that one fucking annoying ass kid that like made it on the internet, but everybody slept on in the industry. Like he ain't gonna be shit, he's just a tight beat producer. And I got in the studio and fucking proved myself. I get in there at fucking noon and wouldn't leave until like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. It's not even like more so produced, people know I'm a part of, because like I have a whole team, you know what I mean? I'm a part of the whole Juice World album, Lucid Dreams, like my producer Nick Mirror did that. Um, all girls are the same, everything. I actually produce candles on there with him. Every song on there that's produced by Nick or whatever, I'm part of it in some way. Plug Walk, Blue Tent on Drake's album with Future. I don't know, a bunch of fucking records. A lot of Sky shit, I did a lot of Sky shit. The I Know You record with, with Pinch, I, did, I had some shit with Greedo. Uh, my first like big placement was um, Gucci Mane and Designer, Life. And uh, it was it's cool, it's supposed to be bigger than what it was, but I mean like it did a lot for me. I get tired of shit easily. I could be on the top of the game, like even making beats as an industry producer, or whatever. I could have like 18 Drake placements to just be like, this is getting old. I need to do something else. You know what I mean? Right. So it was like, I was making half a million a year online selling beats on the internet. And it was just like, I don't want to do this forever. Like, yeah, this is cool, but I want to, I just want to do shit that excites me. So I got this placement and that was cool taking meetings and shit for pub deals or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, I jumped to it, I saw the crack in the door, I kicked that shit open. You know, Metro did this shit for a while, you know, he did shit with Future and Thug and, you know, Uzi, all these people. He was really big in that, Mike Will was really big in that, kind of being like one of the actual artist producers, I say, whatever. People doing it now is like Kenny Beats, that's my brother, he's fire. He's doing the same shit, just like taking artists and making records. Producers are really finally getting the, like, the shine they deserve. And I, honestly, I, we wouldn't be here if people like Metro and shit like that didn't like pave the way for us. All right, so basically, Aaron, that money started was me, Side Piece, and Nick Mirror. Like, I've known these kids since they were 14. 
know what I mean? When no one knew him type shit. But that's the thing with every person on the internet money. I took a chance on somebody at some point. It wasn't because their beats were their best or because like I thought that they just added a crazy element to the team production wise. Because I don't care if your beats are ass. Because that shit can change. Like everybody makes shitty beats at one point. It's just how, like, are you gonna fit in with the team? You know what I mean? We're playing like Modern Warfare 2 and shit together. I'm like, man, y'all kids are dope, bro. Like, I fuck with y'all. And they're like, thanks, man. Free, you know, whatever. Man, that, that, shoot, appreciate it, man. I was like, cool. So I'm, I like put them in plays to like sell beats on my website. And that's what it, internet money initially was just like me helping other people get money and, you know, provide for themselves and their families and do crazy shit. The same way, like, I wouldn't be where I am now if people didn't take chances on me. I t took the same chances on them. And I remember one time I was beefing one night Wonder on Twitter, just going crazy. Bro, I used to be psycho on Twitter. Like straight up like going on Periscope with like an AR-15 and a handgun and shit. Bird, my manager, he like one day seen me beefing one night Wonder and he slid my DMs. He's like, you're right with everything you're saying, but it's about how you're saying it. And from then on, I, like me and him talked on the phone for like eight hours. A, the producer union shit's never gonna work because there's always gonna be people who don't have shit who are willing to undercut people who do have shit and just fuck the game up. It happened on the internet. And it's happening in the industry. Like, you're never going to stop that period. I'm trying to have the biggest producers under me. We're trying to make the best records we can and still just do things that no one else is doing. A couple labels reached out to me. They wanted me to be, like, on some callous shit and orchestrate some shit. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to just keep it under my label. I have an Internet Money project coming out. Album, the, the Free Greedo song is supposed to be on there. I got some, some crazy shit on there. Like, I got, like, a Juice World record and all this shit. You know what I mean? I have a reality TV show coming out. I just signed a deal with that. It's gonna be like on a major, major network. Like episodes, living in the fucking house, day-to-day -day shit, us working with artists. We have crazy ass parties. We have like a lot of lifestyle shit that happens there. It's just, it's dope. So you're gonna see everything on TV. I just wanna do shit no one else is doing. I could go get placements all day, but it's like, now I wanna do like collaborations with people and shit for producers. And like, we're doing a TV show about producing and just, just all this crazy shit. On top of signing artists and, you know, developing and doing what we need to do. Finessing the game, bro. Brick by brick. <laughs>